Good morning, everyone. How's everybody today? Just give you guys a few um, minutes to join me. Hi, Rin. Did you sleep okay? Terrible itchy eyes. I've been looking at um, natural remedies on how to, um, you know, deal with itchy eyes. And um, apparently, you're supposed to do cold compress. So after this, I'm gonna get myself a damp cloth, cold damp cloth, and then just close my eyes for a bit. And then I think you can get steroid eye drops. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> Good morning, Alan. How are you? Well, I think we're doing something cool today. Something exciting. Happy Easter. What day is it? I don't know. It's just day. It's just a day. <laughs> Did you sleep okay, guys? Just tell me. <gasps> Stephen. I really like your drawing lately. So amazing. So talented. Hi, Michelle. Welcome to my live feed. Just gonna give everybody a few minutes to um, a chance to join in before we start. So today we're going to do. Um, <coughs> oh, kit. Okay. Something, um, you know, a bit more simplified. These are too many for watercolor, too complicated. So I might just pick out one strand and then um, choose that to help. And um, I like the composition of um, this one. I'm obsessed with orchid. And um, the more airy roots sticking out, the better because that's how they absorb light and moisture. Okay. And um, so that's what that's what it is really. Yeah, that's quite a nice composition, isn't it? So I'm gonna put it next to me to have a look. Um, or I'll you just do your own, you know, composition. Okay, got that to look at. Uh, Hi everybody. So I'm just reading everybody's comments right now. Good morning. Um, so Gwen said she slept in a um, stuffy bedroom. Um, yeah, I think you requested Orchid, didn't you? So anyway, um, hi Amanda. Hi Julie, good morning. Happy Easter. Is it Easter Sunday? <gasps> Why didn't I think? Okay, it's gotta be done. Gotta be done, guys. Okay, look at my back. I'm back in eyes. Okay. Um, it's it's not a makeup tutorial today. Okay. Honestly. We'll do like a round cheeks today. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a dried out one, sorry. Wow, this is terrible trying to do it in um on the camera. <laughs> I'm an artist, honestly. <laughs> hmm. That's terrible. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, it's not gonna work for me today. Hold on, let me see if I can activate it on the Oh, it's a lot of ink. No, the point the pointer is not gonna work. I know. Mm. 
I have the water activated one. Wish me luck. Okay, go on. Let me get my makeup brushes. Don't want to get mixed up now. Ooh, this is nice. I'm just trying to do it on the selfie camera on the phone, no, no mirror. So it feels rather weird. Well, it's really hard to do it on yourself. I've never done this before for a long time, painting on my own face and um, <laughs> without my glasses. That was fun. And that's a really good thing actually. It's a, um, I got given this. I never used it before. So it's a um, water activated um, cake by Ben Nye. <laughs> it's, I'm impressed, but you know, not the quality of my paint today, ignore it. But I gotta have to be an Easter bunny. Is there a filter that I can put on? No filter. Oh wow, so when I make a fool of myself, everybody's watching, right? Huh? <laughs> Good morning. Who's got Easter mouth on, guys? <laughs> oh God, I've got such a itchy eyes and itchy nose. Okay, so without further ado, sorry those who just turned tune in to see me making a fool of myself. It's done for today. <laughs> um, basically today. We are going, let me put my makeup brushes away first. Oh, these are my makeup brushes. Um, oh, you know this brand, Louise Young, she's my good friend. They're amazing. They're like the socket brush um, and some random stuff, but I do love Louise Young. The one I was just using earlier is Louise as well. Um, I find that her um, fine point eyeliners, the smaller ones, you know, anything rounded like this are amazing. Especially when you're trying to just dot in just a tiny bit for the um, no makeup makeup. Just to add a bit of definition on the eyelash line without noticing the, you know, that is makeup. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. We're doing orchids today okay let's tune in to oh um sorry i forgot to tell you as well um that we're gonna be doing orchids oh yeah i did tell you right mm. okay right see ya okay i already wet my page the right have i got any piece of paper so i can show you a kind of how we are gonna go on about this Okay, right. We're going to, let me move my chair slightly. Right, okay. The shape of my orchid, I'm just going to draw it quickly first, but you know, we're not going to draw it obviously in real life. We're just going to go straight with the paintbrush, okay? So... Um, the orchid has got like uh, five petals on the background so um, some are fatter petal and some are thinner petal okay I'm just gonna go by what I have here 
Okay, and what I'm going to do in the middle of the flower is Okay, just kind of like rough shape. We don't want anything too much. Okay, and then we have another petals here. It's almost like butterfly, isn't it? Okay, and then there's another thin delicate one. This is a delicate one and there's like a really big fat juicy petal as well but I'm gonna go for this shape okay so um, some are um, looking straight forward at you and some are looking sideways so the sideways one I'm gonna do a very rough um, shape okay so that's the sideway of the front section here and then you can do you know yeah and then that's stems coming out like so okay and then there might be ones that looking from behind so you want to draw the stem first and then that's from the back petal okay like so and then there'll be some I'm just turning my plant pot to have a look around um, some are just like stem and their new bud. So cute, those little new buds. Okay. And then the twigs are um, just a succulent twigs kind of thing, really. So we're just going up. And then you can turn slightly. And then you can have your flowers and then some more flowers and then some more flower on that side and then you have the bud coming along and then you can have I'm just looking at my flower now leaves okay they're quite a uh, um, succulent aren't they and they're not pointy they're just slightly rounded off again okay like so Okay, that will be our orchid for today. Right. Let's get on with it. If you want to, you can do a very um, thin drawing onto it, but I'm not going to, okay? Again, I'm going to use my trusty two size brushes, okay? The cheapy GP. Okay, I'm going to have my towels ready for me to absorb my excess water Woo. let's keep rolling right I'm going to do the stem first and the stem is kind of like dark oh my gosh it's like dark I don't know what it is dark green turn red I think yeah deep 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 dark green red so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my dirty green here Okay. Is my screen clean? Always need a quick swipe. <laughs> You're welcome. That looks better. It doesn't have any halo anymore, right? Okay, right. Try to make everything central. Just Okay, right. So that's green ready. I'm going to go in with a... Um, Ready pink. That's a beautiful color. And in this area. That's the color actually. Can do a bit more pink of the stems, okay? So that color's ready. I'm gonna start with the green first. Because where it's near the stems, um where the flowers coming out, it goes lighter. Okay? So um Mixture of my dark green and mixture of green and dark green. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about today. <laughs> Do a test. Okay, that's a good color. Right. Um, the composition is going that way. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Right. So going up. Imagine you're growing the plant. 
okay and um, if your orchid is twisty and turny then just do it okay it um, just copy the real thing is the best okay guys so we're gonna stop here one second because you don't want to um, don't forget those little nodes of the where you know they at any time they can emerge into another stem okay so then we're gonna go in with um, light pink or you can choose whatever color you like okay super pale and have a test on your your page that's way too dark see so I'm coming in with more water I want it to be super 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 wishy-washy right now because um, some of the orchids um, they are almost transparent on the outside I mean um, white okay so sorry I just accidentally put my fingers in uh, my paint okay um, let's do one here this one can be the one that looking at us okay And then you can move on to a little bit of purple or just go super wishy-washy and I'm gonna drop in a little bit of purple on the inside of the flowers okay and we leave that to dry and then we'll paint the the second set of the flower. I'm just gonna suggest that it's there for the time being so I won't forget. Just like that, okay? Just like that. And I'm gonna add this darker pink in the center. We're gonna need to come back and add more color, okay? So that's the first flower. And then the second flower, I'm gonna paint it on this side, okay? Um, add a little bit of stem coming out okay just looking at my plant now and go in with I'm gonna paint paint it slightly at a weird angle this one just want to look a little bit realistic today of the angle but you know the flower itself you can be quite loose and I'm going in with dark purple okay like so okay Coming back to this, whoops, I dropped my brush. Coming back to the first flower and add a bit more color now to my last set of petals. Okay. I'm gonna add more color, keep dropping in the colors. like that okay and then move on to the third flower and I'm gonna paint it looking upwards <laughs> I'm gonna do the lo lower set petals first okay And then the purple. 
purple. Sets off the bottom center. Okay. And then we're going to do the third outer petal. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to do the top petal. Okay. Just don't let them touch in the middle of each other yet. We can come in and blend in extra color later. Um, because if you let them all touch each other, um, there will be a big gloopy mess. Okay, you can drop the colors into your petals like that. While the paint's still wet, so it's wet on wet. Okay, and um, I'm coming into here and add more definition of my purple petal okay and then we'll move on to the fourth flowers how is everybody hi sis is everybody following This one's going to be a sideways one. Okay. Make sure it's nice and wishy washy. Just referring to my flowers now that I have here with me. Okay. Okay, and then um, purple funny bit in the center. Okay, just keep dropping in the pigment. Okay. Next, you're very quiet today or every day at the moment. <laughs> Just looking at my um, orchid pot now, and I am going to. going to paint smaller flowers now because generally the um, the flowers that are at the top here are usually smaller Okay. How are we all doing? Okay. And um, I am going to paint some 
flower bud now. And it's usually like a light green with a bit of purpley vein in it. Because that's going to become the petals, okay? It's like a cute, fat, puffy buds. So cute. And I'm gonna add a bit of purple. I know it looks a bit weird, but I promise you, it will be okay. I hope. <laughs> okay. Add a bit more pink. Okay. Ah. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna paint leaves. Okay. So I'm going to use this green seal that I have and refer to my plant. Quick test. It's okay. Test on your piece of paper. Just adding, I'm making a bit more paint because I think I'm going to need a bit. Right. I'm gonna paint the first set of the leaves first because um, they're darker. Okay. some color darker color on the base of the leaf here okay like that and then I'm coming in again on this side and keep going in quickly before the paint dries up and um, Leave your sketchy mark. Okay, then I'm dropping them in with darker color. And then the next set of leaves. And next one, I think I'm gonna um, paint slightly paler leaves because it started to get a bit younger leaf now. Okay. Keep adding pigment to your leaves. Like 
like that. Okay? How are we all doing? You're still very quiet. <laughs> Okay, Serena, no problem. Enjoy your baking. Thank you, Gwen. I hope you're painting along. I'm going to come in because I'm so impatient. I'm going to come in and add more definition here, you see. So it gives you an impression that the leaf is um, folding. Okay, like that. Hi, Sharon. And then you can go in and have a look um, if we can add any definition to your um, your flower. Okay, um, like a bit more, you know. Oomph, that would be good too, so just go for it. Okay. Excuse me, sniffly, sniffly, terrible hay fever. And um, my older orchid leaves, I can see a bit of pink um, tinge on the edges of my um, leaves. So I'm going to go in and add a little bit. Pink to my edges. <laughs> like so. Not all, just a few. Okay, guys. And you know, um, if you are a detailed person, you can even go in with, you know, um, finer brush and add the details of um, your orchids, like these one, look. Can you see these beautiful veins there? But I'm not doing botanical or technical painting. Um, so, you know, we are looking back, step back and look at the big picture of the general shapes of the petals, general shapes of the leaves. So um, we're not doing technical today, but if you want to, that would be a good challenge. Just zoom in and just paint the center of your the flower. Oh, no, I just snapped it. Ah, sorry, flower. Gosh, it's been here for months since, um, I think it started flowering um, at the beginning of um, February. And it's still there. It's amazing. Okay. And, um, and again, I'm going to come in and um, 
add a bit of my splattery stuff because I do like splattery things and um, I'm gonna go for my beautiful blue in here I think I hope that's blue no that's too blue <laughs> It's this blue-green look, guys. Let me test on it first. Whoa, that's strong. That's better. So I'm coming on the edges of the orchid. Just go as close as you dare to. <laughs> and blow! Like that. Okay? And um, if there's anywhere that you don't like, just mop it back up. Okay? I would recommend you to do this when your paint is already dried okay and um, just gonna go in to the center of the flower here because the whiteness is annoying me now and what I can do is I'm just gonna this color is very strong I think I shouldn't have used it too strong but you know what it doesn't matter I'm doing something today. Okay. I think indigo would have been better, would have been a better color to use for that. If you don't want to blow, don't blow. <laughs> okay. Um, I might come here. Do another one there. I have to turn my project a bit. That's better. And you can have your paint dribble down. Oh, not enough ink. Okay, like so. I'm gonna work on this a bit more when I'm done um, filming. Dabbing some color off a little bit. That color is very staining. It's got strong staining power.
probably gonna end up painting the whole background or something I don't know I don't know but um, I'm enjoying the process it's not about the result for me for sure sometimes not caring is a good thing <laughs> This is not going to go on the um, Royal Society anytime soon. RA. And um, you can stain the paper with um, a bit of um, tea as well. You can wa have a quick wash with tea. That's quite nice. I like it. Tea or coffee. It's beautiful. God, my hay fever is terrible today. If you're not a messy type of person like me, then just don't do a background, okay? <laughs> Honestly. But once you start, you have to go in and fill it all in now. Duh! <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter, guys, okay? I promise you, don't fret. There's no need to fret. Just going in with my really faint wash of um, my dirty pot of color actually. My dirty pot of paint water for that I, I clean my brush with. And um, just go in just to take the whiteness away now that I put the background on it. <laughs> Because otherwise, certain area will be too starking white. But if you like it starking white, just leave it starking white. Okay. No sweat, team. No sweat. Okay. There you go. It will look a bit better when dry, I think, okay? That's too strong for me here. I hate it. <laughs> but you know what? Just leave it. Don't overwork it because overworking is a bad thing for your work.
sorry about that. But um, this paper is not really designed for um, a big wash. It's only 150 grams, but I just love the texture of it very much. So I persevere with it. And um, once I keep the book shut, it will just go flat by itself after a while. But as you can see, when you put the background into your page against the, um, the color, um, if you've done it right, the whole area is not right, apart from this bit, look, can you see, where um, a really beautiful wash of blend butt, butting against the beautiful um, pink and purple. Um, it gives you like extra definition. So um, I probably have to go around and um, do a little bit of um, extra definition on my green now with a um, fine brush. Um, I don't know, but um, maybe I'll just leave it like that as a rawness. Maybe just that area, look, it's a bit... Um, not maybe I'm doing it now. I can't help it. I can't help myself. Yeah. I think that's a bit better. I think. Just adding a bit of purple to my green. Bring back that lovely green purple. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Um, I'm probably going to add more texture to the background because I don't know when to stop. And that's my um, problem. <laughs> okay, and... Um, I'm going to post a picture of my effort later and um, please come and join me and put your picture on with your selfie. That would be great. Hi Lisa, thank you for joining me. I'm just about to finish my um, messy orchid painting. It's more about the um, process rather than the finished product. Don't beat yourself up or don't beat myself up Mona. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you so much. and. Um, Thank you, Alin. Have a lovely um, rest of the day. Love you all. Bye. Oh, sorry, sorry. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. In case you haven't seen my beautiful makeup look. Mm. Bye.